Temperatures for the past week have been record breaking, as Ben mentioned, with numbers reaching into the triple digits almost every day. In this heat, just walking outside can get a sweat started. The Cakes Jordan Shefty joins us now to explain how working out in the heat can do more than just make you sweat. Jordan? That's right, Mike. Exercising in these extreme conditions can cause heat exhaustion and even heat stroke, but some people are finding ways to avoid the high temps and still get their workout in. Jim McMillan and his dog go for a walk every morning around 9 a.m. It's good exercise for both of us. But lately, that routine has had to change. Since it's gotten warm, we come out early, like we got here about 7.15 this morning. He's not alone in altering his schedule to beat the heat. Many other joggers are taking advantage of the cooler temperatures early in the morning. These days, we try to get here as early as 7.30 because of the 100 degree temperatures. I walked my dogs yesterday afternoon about a mile and a half, it was much worse. And there was not as much of a breeze or there's no coolness to it. So you definitely have to get out in the morning. Doctors say that they are seeing the effects of those who are pushing too hard in the heat. Quite a few with dehydration and, and heat exhaustion. The symptoms of heat exhaustion include cramps, nausea, headaches, even difficulty breathing and dizziness. With heat stroke, these conditions continue, but the sweating stops. Brain symptoms such as confusion, coma, and seizures can occur. Even death can be a result. But there are precautions that you can take to stay safe. While working out in the heat, obviously it's important to stay hydrated. Water, it's a good choice, but doctors say there's an even better option. An energy, a, like a Powerade, Gatorade with electrolytes is probably a better choice. It is also important to avoid the sun during the peak hours of 10 to 3, take frequent breaks, and if you start to experience symptoms of heat exhaustion or heat stroke, immediately get out of the sun. As long as they're taking their precautions and drinking plenty of fluids, it's, it's okay as long as you take breaks. If symptoms don't improve without 30 minutes to an hour of drinking fluids and getting out of the heat, that's when you should seek medical attention. Again, if possible, get your exercising done in the morning or find an air-conditioned gym to avoid overexposure to the heat. Mike? Good advice. Thanks, Jordan.